want to add because it's a one third, one third, one third. But that's the basic proportion. But if you add more of them are, then you're going to have a more glass like medium, more glazing. Uh, stand oil is giving you that super flexibility and strength over time because it makes a tougher paint film than linseed oil. But we can't make the oil colors from stand oil, like I explained. And turpentine allows you to control the flow. You want to have a, yeah, do you want to have it thin liquid or do you want to have it gummy? Turpentine does that. So it's a one third, one third, one third, but basically, and also turpentine controls the amount of fat. As you do your fat over lean, when you start, you have more turpentine, leaner medium, and as you go, you'll lower the turpentine amount. Okay, so you've got one standard that can play with it, whichever. Yeah, one third, one third. Because I used to explain this to all customers, but then we realized it was just simpler to just make a, you know, one that had one third, one third, one third and people can add to it, you know, which way they want. There are many other painting mediums, like for example, this is a painting medium too, the beeswax paste. It has the more in it, so we use that to make impasto. That's a different kind of medium, it's all in the book. But this is the one you start from, the basic one for oil painting. And you can substitute uh, turpentine from, you can do it with mineral spirits, but you see this, everything is mixed properly. If you use mineral spirits, there is a good chance that some of it will fall to the bottom and you'll need to really shake. If you're okay with that, it's fine. If you don't want it falling to the bottom, you need to use orange shawl. And that's gonna be heterogeneous like that. Is there more of an advantage with using that than just with like having your oil clean and then having mineral spirits on the side to like? Yes, there is. Because when, when, you are, when you are using just mineral spirits, you're depleting the oil paint from the binder it should naturally have. Because mineral spirit breaks down the oil to, it, to an extent. So you have chalky paint, or I mean, that's the worst that could happen. The paint looks chalky. And then when you paint over, it's going to be absorbed by the underlayer, and then you're going to have matte spots, which we kind of always have to some extent, but it's going to help to reduce it using that kind of medium. And uh, when you're using mineral spirits, the color is dull. When you're using a medium like that, the color is more intense, more vibrant. You can glaze with this. You can't glaze with mineral spirits. It's, it's not working. And, uh, and it's making the same, uh, you know, it's making the same structure. So basically that's the reason to use. Because in a way, mineral spirit is in there. It's the last third. It's the turpentine part. But there's a reason for the other two components as well which you are missing by just using mineral spirit, but it's not taught that way anymore. People are just saying, oh, I'll just use mineral spirit, but you should have stand oil and a resin content in there as well, in a, in a traditional painting medium. Um, maybe the, the question that we have, like for the wood panel with the... Yeah, with the, the low end panel that cracked. Is the coffin on top? Yeah, yes, we on this one. Do you have one of them? I'll have a look at it after the when she's. No, it cracks so much when you left it. I'll have a look at it after. I'll be happy to have a look at it because we discussed that last time. We will night. talk about that before we leave because there are some. Uh, we'll talk also about the ground for the brace painting a bit later, but let's uh, finish the demo first and then. Yeah, we'll I'm pretty much done. Are you? We. <laughs> oh, last question. Um, I, I, any other question? If we wanted some products, do we have to go to like a store or can we order them? Online? Yeah, you can just order them and we'll mail them to you. We have, oh, and actually, I'm forgetting. I brought, we, we make oil sticks. So I brought all of these oil sticks for you guys. Um, they are like old formulations, whatever, old labels. We just don't throw them away, we give them away. So oil sticks is basically oil paint in a stick, right? You know what it is? No. It's, no? It's oil paint in a stick. When you draw with it, it has a skin around, and when you draw with it, it's going to make a line, but that line is really oil paint, so it's oh. taking a few days to dry, one or two, and you can mix it with any oil painting medium. Can you grab a wet uh, brush and then... Yeah. 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 Yes. Like it has to be oil, not water. It has to be oil. Oh, it's yeah. oil stick, yeah, exactly. It's, it's basically like this, 
but it's in a it's in a pastel. And also some it's like an oil pastel, but it dries. Oil pastel never dry, but this dries because it's oil paint, so it's archival. But uh, these are old formulations, so. so no, if you wanted to order stuff online, there's no problem mailing any. No, of we're mailing everything <laughs> every day. But you know, it's pretty well wrapped. I tell you that. And also, I brought I I brought how many people is doing oil paint? We're gonna have to do oil paint. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, you know, really, not like in this class, but doing also outside. <laughs> You want to start it? Okay. Because uh, I brought six tubes only because I wasn't sure how many people is doing oil paint. But there is six of them. If someone is uh, missing uh, oil paint tube, you just, I'm going to be sending a package to Ginny because for other stuff. So you just tell Ginny that you are doing oil paint and you want to sample a color and I'll put it in the package for her because I only have six tubes. Because sometimes in some universities, uh, people don't oil paint, so we make oil paint, so I brought it, but I didn't want to bring too many. Didn't bring it back. So this stuff is for you guys, and the people that don't have uh, an oil painting to just give your name to Ginny, and I will send you a sample along with the package. And uh, this is just to show you uh, all, all paint that I've made in, uh, my God, maybe seven years ago, and you know, just put it in two, it's possible, and then you just keep it. Uh, when you get the tube, it's a it's an open cylinder like this. So you fill from the back. Basically, this end is round, and then you cramp cramp it with the uh, candle pliers. Oh, okay. Simple. And write on the tube what it is you did. This is cadmium green light with 15% of filler, and uh, also I use the medium inside. There's already a painting medium inside called wood grind. So. The only thing I forgot to write is the date, which is always a good idea. Write the date, at least a year, and you see that's the paint here. So, that's back when I had time to paint. <laughs> that's about it. Any other questions?